It's been a little more than two weeks since a Colquitt County crash took the lives of five people on Thanksgiving Day. Now that head on crash between two cars happened on Highway 111 south of Bay Rockyford Road. One of the cars had 10 people inside. Five of those people died on impact. Some of the survivors of the crash are still recovering at hospitals. WALB News 10's Lena Allen spoke with a family member of those crash victims and shares how they are coping with this major loss. Why is this happening to us? Why? Jeanette Contreras still searching for answers after her family was involved in the fatal Thanksgiving car wreck. Her mom and dad are just two out of the six survivors who are still recovering in separate hospitals. But Jeanette lost five other people she was close to in the wreck. Those people include 58-year-old Emiliano Ramon, 61-year-old Ana Rodriguez, 73-year-old Jose Marino, 25-year-old Herlinda Solchak, and her son, 3-year-old Anderson Sell. Jeanette tells me that day her family was driving to Pelham for a Thanksgiving dinner. The night before, I spoke to Doña Ana. I said, Madre, ves con mi mamá? Go with us to Thanksgiving dinner. I wish I would have gave her a hug. I just... I didn't think it was going to be the last time I would speak to her. The Georgia State Patrol Specialized Collision Reconstruction Team, also known as SKIRT, is still investigating how this wreck happened. And you could see there's still remnants of the accident from evidence flags to even shattered glass from the impact. But also not too far from it now is a small memorial as a way to remind the community that five people lost their lives here and will never be forgotten. It's been so sad. And I, like, I have no relation, we have no relation to these people, but Finding out this and finding out that oh, it has been an emotional roller coaster. The community has not been shy about stepping up to help these families in their time of need. I'll share how perfect strangers have been making little miracles happen following this tragic wreck. Next on WALB News 10 at 6, Lena Allen, WALB, your hometown news source.